Florida State University. My name is Elizabeth and I'm an undergraduate student here at ASU. Today we're hanging out in the Interdisciplinary Science Technology Building, also known as ISTV2. We're gonna be able to do some lab tours for ASU's School of Sustainable Engineering and Built Environment. We'll speak to some undergraduate and graduate students about the work they do, and we'll also have the opportunity to meet some of the faculty and staff that help keep this program up and running. To begin, this is Dr. Camille Kalush. Hello, Dr. Kalush, how are you? Would you be able to share a little bit of information about this building? This is ISCB2. It's one of several science and technology buildings on campus here at ASU. Uh, they are a great uh, place for a uh, students and faculty to do their laboratory testing uh, research work. Let's speak a little bit to how the work being done here impacts us all in the future. We are focused on doing some research work on how to improve the durability and the performance of the asphalt concrete machine. We actually also working with the city of Phoenix, for example, on recycling technologies. We take old roadways. We use part of that into the asphalt roadways in order to be sustainable and to re reuse the existing uh, materials that we have. Now we're going to be heading into the advanced pavement lab that Dr. Kalush just mentioned. So if you want to follow me, we'll head on in for the lab tour. Here we are in ASU's School of Sustainable Engineering and Built Environment Pavement Lab. In this laboratory area, students perform various tests on pavement materials. They will prepare samples, compact samples, and they will also test different mixtures for asphalt that then get placed in our various roadways. Students come from all over the world to study here at ASU. We use advanced computational methods to test for cracking and to attempt to use a simulation to know when the distresses might occur. Students in this lab work with complex equipment in order to predict fatigue, stressing, rutting, and other distresses that occur in pavements. Ultimately, their work being done here helps make roadways safer for all of us. ASU graduate students are working on innovative pavement problems here in the lab. Today we have Samuel and Osain, and they're gonna share a little bit of information about a really interesting project that they're working on that uses Kevlar fibers to reinforce pavements. Our research really focuses on understanding the fundamental mechanisms of fiber reinforcement behavior of asphalt layers. For this reason, we use fundamental mechanics theories to model the behavior in the lab and field. So with these fibers, then does it mean that it, there's hair sticking out of our roads? Actually, when you see a sample made it with fiber, you can see there's no difference than the others. Uh -huh. uh, we actually use a small quantity of fibers per ton of acid mix. That's enough to make this uh, sample behavior uh, get it stronger. That's so exciting that such a small amount of fibers can actually help reinforce our roads. Precisely. For the past decade of our fiber research at ASU, we have developed guidelines for fiber extraction, mixing, and performance test methods to evaluate the behavior of fiber reinforced asphalt materials. Our improved insight has translated into the better deployment of existing fiber technologies. Thank you both so much for the contributions you're making in your research. I know they're meaningful not only now, but down the road when everything is still reinforced and working well. So thank you. Sure. Sure. Now we're going to check in with Ashraf, another student who has a really exciting project on platoons. With advances in autonomous vehicle technology, we will be experiencing different kind of traffic flow in our roads. The track platoons are known as a group of tracks following each other very closely. Our pavement structure uh, is not designed to carry this type of loading. Therefore, we simulate different scenario of track platoons in the lab by performing fundamental pavement deformation test. Uh, the outcome will be optimized platoon configuration without uh, additional damage to our pavement system. Students gain valuable exposure using state-of-the-art materials here in the pavement lab. These exposures really help students to become successful and are extremely beneficial in the transition from college to career. Can you tell me a little bit more about some of the things that we're looking at? We are in the middle of an extensive renovation project in our lab. This is one of the system updates we just completed. With the state-of-the-art controllers like this, we can control multiple equipment at the same time. Personally, I have one major motivation to acquire equipment like this and many others in this lab, and that is to provide our undergraduate and graduate students to apply fundamental science and principles of fundamental science to very practical engineering problems. And all of this, obviously, could not have been possible without ASU's generous support. Also, we have very special sponsors from our payment community. Thank you so much for your dedication to your students and also for allowing us to tour this awesome lab space. Hey Jose, I heard that you had a really important and interesting project to share with me today. This is what we know as a balanced mix design in which we incorporate performance goals. We want to create mixes strong enough 
that will resist permanent deformation, but at the same time flexible enough uh, to slow down the cracking. Here at ASU, we have developed a cracking test that are being used for all, by other researchers. Those, I thought they made noise cancelling headphones and speakers. I didn't realize that they had pavement testing equipment as well. Yes, they do make speakers, but they also make very precise testing equipment, like this one. So what data is collected by this machine and how does that work into the projects that you do? So I'm actually testing these small specimens. They can come the finer part of our asphalt mixtures. Start by taking the finer part and then move to a larger specimen that has finer and coarser particles. Seeing a state-of-the-art facility like this, I can now see why ASU is a leader in pavement development. With annual events like the ASU Pavement and Materials Conference, it's no wonder that the university is gaining national and even global recognition. I'm sure you can see why now too. Here, Carlos uses rheological instruments to look at liquid binders. This is what keeps the small and the large aggregate parts together in an asphalt mixture. They use not only conventional base binders like petroleum, but they also are looking at bio binders. This is really an innovation that's helping to prepare our pavements for a more sustainable future. What we're working on is a very sustainable and environmentally friendly way for reconstructing pavements. Traditionally, when an asphalt pavement reaches the end of its life, we replace it with materials that are coming from a plant, and that takes a lot of energy and heat. We use existing asphalt in place. This method is called cold in place recycling. At ASU, is we evaluating mixed design methods from all over the world and trying to figure out what works best for Arizona. Have you toured the Smart Materials Lab? I thought this was a Smart Materials Lab. Come on, let's go look at it. Wow, what a sophisticated lab space. Can you tell me a little bit about what goes on in the Smart Materials Lab here? This is part of the National Center of Excellence for Smart Innovations. Here, our advanced payment group is developing new admixtures to be added to the bituminous materials to provide poor heat island benefits, better thermal resistance, and payment performance. One silica-based product that we already developed here is demonstrating some improvements for different asphalt applications, such as asphalt mixtures, surface treatment, and seal. The use of this product in asphalt materials is promising in mitigating problems related to asphalt performance and poor heat island. Wow, that sounds so great. Thank you for sharing. And that, folks, concludes our tour. Thank you so much for joining us, and I hope you enjoyed viewing the Pavement Lab here at Arizona State University. If you have any further questions about the university or would like to see some of the other research initiatives that we have on campus, visit us at www.asu.edu, and we can't wait to see you soon. Go Devils!